Flyers TV is sponsored by the Bay Hotel. Uh, Todd, first of all, what's your thoughts on the, the game on Sunday uh, down in Nottingham? Um, always tough, uh, wrapping up a, a difficult and disappointing weekend. Um, we went into Nottingham and, and got off to a sloppy start, which um, wasn't ideal. Um, leaked another weak goal uh, right early on in the first period and kind of sets the tone for the game. Um, and then that knocks the creativity out of the guys, um, trying too hard, um, and, and the goals have dried up a little bit. But uh, zero points uh, out of a potential six is a disaster for us, and uh, you know something needs to change. Would it be fair to say that Fife going into the season are looking to get are more looking at points off the conference rivals more than the teams that necessarily played on Saturday and Sunday? No, I don't think that's fair to say. I think that we have to um, feel we can compete every night and uh, I'll go back to the weekend um, with this um, Cardiff Devils team we know they're a great team and that's two good two two times we've played them and two losses but on uh, Saturday night um, we held that team to 16 shots and, and we put uh, 30 shots on their nut now those weren't 30 quality scoring chances there was some and, and we missed a few opportunities but uh, to, to leak three goals on 16 shots is unacceptable and um, we have to find a way to change that. Um, they're a very physical team um, at times and I thought that uh, you know we stuck with them uh, well but uh, at the end the result went against us. Now looking at looking this weekend, home to Dundee on the Saturday then away to the Edinburgh on the Sunday, what's your thoughts going into, those, going into this weekend? Well, not even this weekend. It's uh, it's a huge month. It's all conference games for the next four or five weeks, um, and uh, you can see how you can drop from mid table to the bottom of a pack with a bad weekend. Um, I'm not saying that with a good weekend you can you can do the reverse, but um, you need to get those points in the bag. Dundee, uh, a team that's playing very good hockey and competing in all hockey games right now, and Edinburgh. Uh, offensively very dangerous and have surprised a number of teams so to, to say that we would target these teams um, more than the others I don't think that's fair because I think all the teams are very close but on the same token it is our conference and they're must wins. What do you make of the the quality of the conference when you got Brayhead, Dundee, Edinburgh and now Manchester Storm? Yeah well you've seen that uh, you, you know Edinburgh has turned over uh, Brayhead uh, Dundee and uh, Brayhead to split. Um, Manchester putting up some decent score lines against uh, teams. Um, conference is going to be very tight and uh, this is going to be a make or break month for us and, and something that um, uh, we just can't sit back and hope. It's something that we have to address um, as a squad and as a team and we have to go after these teams and uh, and play desperate, desperate hockey and uh, realize that there's a lot more line than uh, just the two points. Are you excited by that prospect that you've got a lot, of, a lot of these conference games coming up in the, in the next wee while? Well, yes, I mean, obviously it's good to get into your conference and, and that's one of your, your goals is to finish on top of that. Um, that's four in a bounce we've lost, um, so we're not going into this in form, if, if, if you want to look at it that way, but you have to turn it around at some point, and Saturday night it would be a time that we'd be looking to turn it around, and uh, we're addressing a number of things at training this week, uh, for example, our consistency and work rate, uh, as, long as, as well as our special teams. Um, we'll have to see how that pans out in the weekend, but it won't be left for lack of work. You look at that opening match against Coventry, the, the 6-0 win here in Kirkcaldy is like the benchmark for what the team should be aspiring to? Um, yeah, I would say so. I mean, I think that um, they came in as a blank canvas and uh, that night uh, they were hyped up and, and ready to impress. I think as the week's gone by, um, not only has the league looked like it's tightened up, um, it's, it's, it's more competitive, I think, than anybody had imagined. Um, I think for whatever reason um, we're putting, I was going to say undue pressure, but we're putting pressure on ourselves right now and we should be, but not in the wrong way. Um, you don't want to go out there and play nervous and taken away from um, your, your ability to challenge in games. But we have to demand more out of ourselves. Uh, for example, um, we're just leaking too far too many easy goals. 
um, whether the puck's going in the net too easy, whether we're making silly uh, mistakes that we, we commonly do. Um, and that's something that we have addressed a number of times and we execute very well in training. But come game time, um, we have periods of the game where we shut off and, and, and it's not a whole hockey game where we're getting run around the rink. It's minutes at a time um, and, it, and it's coming from a, a number of uh, sources. So this is something that we're addressing as well. And um, But, you know, being being the head coach and uh, you have to hold some responsibility you can't hold players hands out there they have to take some responsibility on their shoulders they have to demand the best out of themselves and it's a little intangible things that will win and lose hockey games uh, for example um, driving the net when you know you're not going to get a puck um, making sure you're the first guy in the back check and picking the guy up D standing guys up so I mean as a squad absolutely we got a few things we can work on but um, you know that benchmark you mentioned in the first uh, the first season of the game. We'll, we'll go back to that now. They're a blank canvas. Um, they had no fear, and they have to go out there with no fear and play like that. They have that capability, and we see that week in and week out. We need it for 60 minutes, 100 and eight, or 120 minutes over the course of the weekend, and results will start going our way. And finally, um, in the time the Faith has been in the elite league, a big, a strong advantage for the team has been the, the home crowd. You've always said that maybe when the team comes out first, it's all about trying to get that early goal and get the crowd going. Is that what you're looking for on Saturday? Well, it would certainly be an advantage because this building can go very quiet if they're if if they feel that the the, the tide is not going our way, and you can you can sense it from the players' perspective and certainly from the crowd's perspective that they go off all quiet and they're waiting for something to happen. Um, when we ignite this building early, it, it can get very loud, but it can also be very quiet. So. Um, that's something that we're addressing about not being too high and not being too low. The crowd's an advantage, but we can't let that affect our play. We have to make sure that we stay on course and, and play these games for 60 minutes. But, you know, you get an early, early goal in this building and, and it is a huge difference.